Hi, I'm Matt, also known as Speed49, Moo Moo Takao, uh, El Moo, and I'm going to teach you how to use the hammer, the Valve Hammer Editor, to create your own levels in Counter Strike Source. And if you don't already have it installed, you just go to Steam, and in your Tools tab, install Source SDK. And then you run it, you get the Source SDK window, and you, under Applications, you open the Hammer Editor. So now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go File, New, or Control N and create a new map file. I'm working in kind of a restricted space right here so you can see the uh, video because there's limited space in YouTube and tutorial vid. So every map you make you're gonna want to make it airtight because if the void gets uh, the outside area gets in and um, it'll cause a leak and your map will either not run at all or crash when you try to run it. So just make sure it's airtight and first we have our tools on the left we have your uh, selection tool, magnification tool, camera tool, entity tool, uh, block tool, um, face edit sheet, and apply texture and decal tool and these other three tools I'll explain in another tutorial so first you're going to do is you're going to take the block tool and you're going to create a box I'm going to show you the quicker way of just making a box, you can just make a box. Um, you have your three ports. You got top, side, and front. Since we're working in 3D space, and now you'll create an object. And I use your camera tool and drag it so you could see that um, the blue circle is where your camera is, and the red line is where it's looking. So you want to make it look here. And that right now you have a red and black checkerboard, which means there's no textures applied to it. So we go over current texture, browse, and I just use a brick texture for now. And now you have to make sure it's selected, and then click the apply texture tool. And I have a box, but as you can see, it's solid, and there's no space inside. So you could just right click and make hollow. And you could, um, this number is how thick your walls are. And 32 is a good size. I just, for the outside of a map, I just use like 16 or 8. And right now you have your map. Ish. You've created a block, basically. And yes, it's your block. You love it. Now, in order to make the map playable, you're going to need to set some spawn points. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your entity tool, which is the um, white circle with the line under it, and now you have your entities on this side. You also have prefabs and prefab HL2, but just work in the entity category. And you have info player terrorist. It's probably set to your default. Now, there's two ways of placing entities. You could either click them in 3D space, or if you want to get more precise, you could just set the area on top and then set the height from another port. And then you could see where these. Um, Co the coordinates triangulate, that's where your entity is going to be. So if I right click the box and create object, that's where your start point is going to be. And then you create um, info player counter terrorist. If I can find, there you go. And then you can just, you know, click in 3D space. I usually have my spawn points a little bit above the floor just to be totally sure that I'm not leaking it at all. So yeah, we have our two spawn points. And then when you have your map, make sure it's airtight. And if you ever get in a kind of situation where you have a leak and you just can't find it for the love of whoever, uh, you just, you could create a box around it. I really don't recommend it though, because it slows up compile time, because after a while, your maps are going to st start to take uh, a few minutes to compile if, uh, if you have so much stuff. So when you're ready, you just press F9. And you save your map. I'm just going to save it as um, Tutorial Map. And I usually don't run the game after compiling. And then you see you have your compile window. There we go. And now the map's compiled. 
And now we just minimize hammer. And now I'm gonna open up source. It's probably gonna be cut off and the audio might get choppy because uh, source takes up a lot of CPU. I have two gigs of RAM, so it shouldn't be a problem, but I'm working in a limited space. So let's see how this works. And you could either open up the console by open by pressing the tilde key, and then you just type map, and then whatever your map is, like tutorial map, and then the map loads. You're running on LAN, so other people won't be able to test it. If you want to, you could um, get the source dedicated server. And now you have your map. And there you go. You now are the proud owner of a box. I hope you've learned from this tutorial. I'm going to make more on different topics. So, stay tuned.